Well, welcome everyone to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Mike, and for the next two weeks, I will be your guide, alligator wrestler, snake charmer, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor. All right, let's get this boat underwater. Oh, sorry, I, I meant underway. Uh, speaking of, um, by a show of hands, who here can swim? Great, oh, that's great, great, great. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't have your hands raised, um, take a look around. Uh, those are your safety flotation devices should the boat become underwater. We are going to begin our journey in the Amazon rainforest. Out here in the Amazon, it rains up to 365 days a year. Can you believe that? I know that's almost like every day. On either side of the boat, you'll see some butterflies with a very impressive wingspan. They range all the way from 12 inches to a whopping one foot. If you look to your left, you'll see Inspiration Falls. They say if you stare at it long enough, it inspires you to go. Deeper and deeper into the jungle is what I mean, I think. And as we reach the Congo River, let's see how far we can go. Well, out here at our rental shack, we normally see one of our skippers working, but anybody can do something must have scared them off oh well I think I know what scared them off it's a giant python do you know why I can tell it's a python and not a boa no feathers yeah you might want to watch out that snake can develop a crush on you it would probably be a pretty constricting relationship well we've reached my base camp and it looks like my friends have dropped in I asked those gorillas to break down my camp, but now it looks like they're breaking, well, everything. On a positive note, I couldn't get my Jeep started this morning, but it looks like they were able to get it turned over. Oh, thanks guys, I appreciate you. Now I don't have to call Triple H. We've entered the Nile River, the longest river in the world. It goes on for Nile and Nile and Nile. And if you don't believe me, then you're in, that's right, Egypt. Yeah, seriously, people, geography is very important. Here we have the African bull elephant. I heard the elephants can jump over 20 feet, but don't worry. We're only 15 feet away. He'll jump right over us. Over here, we have our sandstone formation. Oh, some people take it for granted, but I think it rocks. It's one of our boulder attractions. So much to see here. Looks like we have some long-necked cheetahs and oh, 71 impalas. And up on the hill, we've got some ancient animals, the zebras. Well, they're still in black and white, so you know they're the oldest ones here. Oh, look over there. It's a group of lions watching over that sleeping zebra. Oh, it's like they're guarding their friends in nap time. Earlier today, we sent out some scientists, artists, and explorers. Well, it looks like uh, that Skipper Felix there on the bottom. I told him to stay in the boat. He didn't get the point, but I'm sure he will in the end. Over here we have Smiley and Ginger, but everyone watch out for Ginger. Yeah, Ginger snaps. That's right, she's one tough cookie. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, it's a crummy joke, but I milk it for all I get. And directly ahead of us is Schweitzer Falls, which of course is named after the world famous Dr. Albert <clears throat> Falls. Look, I, if you didn't catch that, don't worry, we're going to be going over the falls later. I bet you're wondering how I landed my job here. Well, I wanted to be an airline pilot, and I think it's plain to see I took a crash course. But my career didn't take off, and now I'm just winging it. You know, many people are concerned about hippos sinking our boat, but really, it's the one in the trees you need to watch out for. They're crafty creatures. Yeah, somebody told me once that when a hippo wiggles its ears, it's a sign of affection. But I don't know. I've only seen them do that when they're about to charge my boat. Look, I told them I only carry cash. I, I don't know why you don't get it. But it looks like we found Skipper Felix's boat. It seems to be getting a new paint job. Remember to stay in the lines this time, fellas. Oh, well, great. 
great. That's the last time I order anything using Amazon Prime Aid. Looks like they're helping themselves to a snack of bread and butter. Flies. We've arrived at the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's the eighth wonder of the world, the back side of the water. O2H, O2H, O2H. And folks, don't try this at home. You'll just hit your head on the faucet. Well, now we're into the Mekong River in Cambodia. That statue out front of the ancient temple depicts the goddess Shirley. Oh, that's right, folks. This is Shirley. There's no telling where this temple may end, but this is Disney, so probably a gift shop. It looks a little scary, but please keep your eyes open because I'm going to keep mine closed. Alright folks, do we still have everyone? Raise your hand if you're not here. Oh, well, we found the secret Indian elephant bathing pool. But feel free to take some pictures. It looks like they've all got their trunks on. Another fun elephant fact for you. Most elephants can grow up to four feet. Yeah, it's tr that's true. See, that's wild because humans can only grow up to two feet. Oh, look at those baby elephants. They're just learning how to use their trunks but they're already making quite a splash. You know, most people think that's water coming out of their trunks. It's not. Well, we've now come to the most dangerous part of your journey, the return to civilization. But before we say goodbye to one another, let's drop in on Trader Sam, our resident entrepreneur and the jungle's finest head salesman. He really knows how to get ahead in the business. But it looks like Sam has stepped out. He's probably getting some more merchandise. But he'll be back soon. There's strollers full of it everywhere. It shouldn't take him very long to find it. Our really big thing here is hats. If you ever want to try a hat on, just let a skipper know. We are all experts at cap sizing. Well, everyone, this has been a lot of fun. If you enjoyed yourself, my name is Skipper Mike, and this has been the world-famous Jungle Cruise. If you didn't, then my name is Jason, and this has been the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Yeah, you've all been so outstanding on this journey, but now I'm going to need you outstanding on those docks. Have a great rest of your day here at the Magic Kingdom.